to Oak Grove State Park in Iowa this morning. The Oak Grove Lodge. The man, the myth, the legend, John Branson. RD, right there. Beautiful views here at Oak Grove State Park. Get down in them woods later for a run. Hey, look at that guy. That'd be in seven and a half miles. Okay. So, so yeah, if we're here and we take this, yep. something like. Yeah, and this 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 is a set of steps that's oh, okay. maybe a, a hundred foot incline, I suppose, seventy five, and then down here you split, and there's a. I want to stay off the road, so there's a line of trees here below this road. Mm -hmm. You just go through this picnic area. Mr. Cardinal. With this topic of endurance nutrition, there's no one better to lead us on it than Charlotte. Uh, Koima is the last name. Well, 10 marathons, three ultra marathons, nine half Ironmans, three full Ironman triathlons, and then she is training for one here at the end of the month. So she's going to compete again here in April. As I already said, she is a Sioux Falls Area Run Club member. She is an advocate for endurance sportsmanship, a cheerleader for all, and a role model for many. Please help me welcome Charlotte. <laughs> I want to make sure that we hit everything that you are, what's on your mind as far as the day. So that's just simply for brain health. So that's like during heavy training, there's, we got to look at your gut. So the seven and a half mile route is an extension of the three and a half mile route. So if you do the whole seven and a half miles, you'll also end up doing the three and a half mile route. So we'll start here and we'll end here. Um, we'll go through about a mile and a quarter single track well probably more than that about two almost two miles of single track and then we'll get into some more open prairie sections and then back into some single track and then we'll kind of loop through the whole park we'll kind of touch every corner of it and it should be a good time i think the trails are in really good shape um, for, which is amazing the way the weather's been so, so here uh, like how many miles do they have not all the trails but um most of them. There's some cutoffs and shortcuts that we're not going to utilize, but we'll utilize um, hiking trails, mountain bike trails, um, no real deer trails or anything like that. And then there's just a short section of uh, paved road that we'll need to take to get from one corner of the park to the other. John Branson leading the charge. Everybody single file. Hi. We got Charlotte. John Branson in his natural element is not on a track happens to be in the woods getting a little Up, up and away. Oh, I just hit a tree. The stripping is starting. Brown chick a mow mow. Look both ways before crossing, Nate. I'm safe. Are you safe? We need to change that sign to say running trail. Got some cabins here on the trail in case you get the urge to camp overnight during the race. Even you road runners get a section here. Don't fear the long white line. It won't eat you alive. Getting into some prairie here. D 
get her on campground. Oh, this is nice over here. downhill here into the bottom here. A lone solo runner contemplating his life choices. Iowa grass track running here for you speed demons. We got an old windmill here. We got historical trash. Woo! Look at that. You got it all here. <laughs> back into the woods from the prairie about three and a half miles into the loop got a little lake here get your four wheel drive shoes on up up and away Good climb. Just a little hill, John says, just a little hill. Famous last words from the race director. We're gonna all tackle him at the top of the hill and beat him up. That's what's put here by John Branson, just to scare the runners. Second thoughts, maybe, maybe not. All those runners just passed this bag. I'm gonna scold them. <laughs> we got a little mud on our shoes. <sighs> Off the roads, John says no roads. Trail runners don't like roads. Got the big Sue right by that we got the privies right off the course as we go up that hill by this up some steps as the runners go up 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 all right check this out more historical trash but what john was telling us is that this contraption and up there farther up the hill used to pull inner tubers back up the hill as they would sled down here, down to the river. <laughs> That's so sweet. That'd be so fun. Nature. Some things live and some things die. This might be some of you on race day. Dead. Some of us will be living. And here we go again. A bridge crossing in the future yeah. the duck hell ducko John says less than a mile and it's all downhill until it's not up to final climbs up to the top up 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 Switchbacks. And that's the 2022 Oak Grove race preview. I somehow missed a mile of it. You did? Oh no. We got the race director, John Branson, here. He's laid out a good course good for us. Tell him hi. And then punch him race day yeah. for putting you through that. <laughs> it's a good one.